Narbal dismounted. The bird pointed to the fence and said, This is the king's flower garden. During the spring, summer, and autumn seasons, the king's daughters live in the palace in this garden. Then he pulled a feather from his hair and gave it to Narbal. Walk around, and in the evening you will wait for us here. However, if you suddenly have an accident before we come, you burn this feather, and we will come to your aid wherever we are. The animals leave Narbal to slowly make his way towards the city. Narbal slowly came towards the city. Narbal found himself in a large city where he didn't know anyone. Narbal walked for a long time, growing increasingly fatigued. As the evening approached, he finally reached the garden. Leaning against the fence, he patiently awaited their arrival. Suddenly, the garden door opened, and an old man came out. He politely greeted Narbal. Returning the greeting, the old man inquired, Son, you look like a stranger. Who are you? Why are you standing here? Maybe you don't have a place to sleep. Narbal had never heard such a polite word from anyone. The men he saw were his father, his brothers, and people in the palace, all of whom laughed at him. Unlike those individuals, Narbal encountered an old man who had threatened him previously. Narbal liked this old man very much, he said. Yes, I'm strange. It was the first time I came to the city. Now I'm waiting for my friends to join them and go to our village. The old man said, My son, I am the gardener of this garden. I built this place. I cultivated and raised these trees. Several times the king who was in our neighborhood attacked us, destroyed our city, and killed our people. But he could not win and ran away. Every time he attacked, he destroyed our garden, and I later rebuilt it. I see you are a good boy. I didn't have anyone either. When that king came against us the last time, he also destroyed my house. I had only one son and killed him. Now I saw you. I felt you as my son. If you don't have a separate job or profession, come and be my apprentice. Let's work together. I don't have much time left in my life. I don't want a gardener after me to get hold of it and ruin it. Narbal said, I will come, uncle. But today I have to go to our village and get permission from my mother. Then I will come. The old man showed his house to Narbal and said, If you come, knock on the door and call me. Narbal said, Okay. The gardener entered his house. Narbal also returned to the fence. But Narbal thought about which neighboring king the gardener was talking about. Maybe he is talking about his father, he thought. Narbal thought that a horse, lion, and bird had come. Narbal rode his horse again and came home with the lion and the bird on his shoulder. Narbal said to his friends in the palace, This place is very boring for me. I will go and become a gardener's apprentice. Early in the morning, the animals brought him again to that garden. He took some of the bird's feathers and gave them to her and said, We will stay there whenever you need us. You can burn the feather and call us. Narbal met his friends. They left. Narbal became a gardener's apprentice and started working in the garden. It was considered the most beautiful garden in the city. This garden belonged to the king. The king had three daughters. The girls would walk around the garden every evening. In the evening of the day when Narbal came to the garden, the girls went for a walk in the garden as they do every day. Narbal also worked with the gardener on one side of the garden. After walking for a while, the girls came to the gardener. The older girl said, Gardener, the flowers in the garden have bloomed. Why don't you take a bunch of them and bring them to us in the morning? Gardener said, Madam, I did not bring it on purpose so that you could come and see it yourself. <laughs>